This is the story of the three kings. This is the third layout. Previous to this presentation, I would work with the students on creating a chart to show us the value of our labels. We have h cubed, and that equals 100 times 100 times 100, which equals 1 million. And I would go through the chart all the way to the units cubed. The student would be able to use that as a resource for this final presentation of the, the story of the Three Kings. As we have this laid out with our hierarchical labels, we're going to start showing the value of each and how the similar colors are going to have the same value. We're going to start with our blue king, our hundreds cubed. We know that that is 100 times 100 times 100, and we can trade that for one million. Our tens cubed, or 10 times 10 times 10, is 1,000. And our units cubed is 1 times 1 times 1, which equals 1. We'll go back up to our, our green attendance, or 100 squared times 10. And we have 100 times 100 times 10, which equals 100,000. So we can trade these labels out. Then we have 100 squared times units. So we have 100 times 100 times 1, which equals 10,000. And we have hundreds times 10 squared. So we have 100 times 10 times 10, or 10,000. Here we have our first example of how our like colored attendants, the brown attendants, have the same value, 10,000. Next, if we go to our soldiers, hundreds times 10 times unit, we have 100 times 10 times 1. That equals 1,000. Moving to our orange attendance, we have 10 squared times units, or 10 times 10 times 1, and that equals 100. Then we have hundreds times units squared, or 100 times 1 times 1 which also equals 100. Again, our liked colored attendants have the same value. Our last attendants, we have tens times units squared, or 10 times 1 times 1, and that equals 10. And this shows how our layout of the story of the three kings and their decimal values 